We never plan on something going wrong when we're driving, but unfortunately, stuff happens. Luckily, there is legal support available in the instance of a hit and run accident. The law firm of Jacoby and Myers has over 40 years of experience as personal injury attorneys in Sacramento. Here to give us some insights on a matter that is all too common, we have their attorney and managing partner, Michael Akiva. Welcome, Michael. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So we're talking about a topic that we see a lot as drivers, whether we're in it or we're driving past it. So what exactly constitutes a hit and run? And can you break it down for us in simple terms? Sure. A hit and run simply is when there's an accident that occurs and one of the parties leave without leaving any identifying information, whether it's their name, their address, their phone number, or insurance information. And when does a misdemeanor cross the line and become a felony? Could you explain that distinction to us? Of course. So an accident is not a crime. What someone does before or afterwards could make it a crime. So for instance, if they're driving under the influence before the accident becomes a crime. Or if they leave the accident scene, it could become a crime as well. And so two different types of crimes it can become, either a misdemeanor or a felony. And Simply, it depends on the severity of the accident. So the more severe the accident, the more likely it becomes a felony. So if someone's badly hurt or if there's a lot of property damage, it could become a felony where someone can pay for real time if they're not, if they don't stop at the scene. And what kind of evidence is crucial in proving someone's guilt in a hit and run case? So you have to prove that number one, they were involved in the accident. Number two, that they knew they were involved in the accident. And number three, that they willfully left the scene without leaving any identifying information. And that becomes just a question of fact between the two sides. And if the police are unable to find the driver responsible for the incident, what options are available to the victim? What steps can they take? So there's a number of steps that a victim can take at the scene of the accident if they're physically capable of doing it. I would still recommend hiring an attorney because we'll send investigators to the scene to go check the camera footage from nearby businesses, whether it's gas stations or, or buildings. Um, we'll post signs to see if anyone saw the accident at the time. Um, but if you're involved in an accident that's a hit and run and you're physically capable of doing it, taking pictures while you're there, maybe there's pieces of car left behind and you can get a, a picture of the color of the car that hit you. Or maybe there's a witness who said, hey, I saw everything. Let me tell you what happened. Get their information and get as much information from them as you can at the scene because Evidence goes stale over time. People start to forget. They start to misremember. Was it a Ford? Was it a Toyota? Right. Was it blue or gray? So the more you get at the scene, the better. Yeah, especially in a car accident, it's kind of that moment, a moment of panic. You're not really sure what to do, but like you mentioned, taking those steps right then and there can help out in the long run. How do the police actually track down a suspect in a hit and run? I mean, they have to run an investigation. So they'll do similar things that I'm talking about. They'll interview witnesses at the scene. They'll go and check camera footage if they're physically capable of doing it. Sometimes they're just too busy and they don't necessarily go check the camera footage. It really depends on who responds to the scene. Uh, but they'll do whatever they can to try and locate the defendant or the driver who fled the scene. And what happens if they just can't locate the hit and run driver no matter what? Yeah, it happens sometimes. So in those situations, Again, I would still recommend hiring an attorney because you might have protections available to you under your own insurance policy and not even know it. A lot of people don't even realize that they have what's called uninsured motorist protection. And it's something that they pay for every single month or every single six months um, to their insurance company. And what it does is it protects them in this situation when they're involved in hit and run or when they're involved with an, in an accident with an uninsured motorist and they have protections to their own insurance company. And let's say the police, they already found the hit and run driver and it's crystal clear who's to blame. What are kind of those next steps? Does having a lawyer involved make a difference? It always makes a difference. So the Insurance Research Council, which is the body that really does the studies on insurance companies, found that claimants who bring claims with an attorney recover up to three times more on their injury claim than those claimants who don't have an attorney. And so even if the facts are clear, the police found the driver and, you know, we already know what the injuries are. Having an attorney will help maximize your settlement. So always hire an attorney. Okay, helpful tips. And then lastly, let's say someone's been involved in a hit and run right when it happens. What should they do? T take anything you can at the scene of the accident. Get information, 
uh, interview witnesses, take recordings, take videos, pictures, do what you can. Sometimes you're not physically capable of doing it, you can't do anything about that, but if you are, anything you can take a picture of, a video of, get it then right, right out the CP accident, because again, it will go stale. All right, all helpful tips. This process is never enjoyable, but to know what to do in the moment when it does happen, it helps just navigate it a little bit more easier. Thank you so much for joining us today and giving us these very helpful tips. To find out more, you can go to jacobyandmyers.com.